All right, I think we did it. Hi everyone, sorry for the delay. Um, we'll give a minute for people to jump on. Welcome to Vinyasa. It is Saturday morning and we have fabulous, let me shift this. I'm gonna say hi to Koma. She is my lovely demo yogi today. So um, I hope you guys have your yoga mats rolled out and ready to go. Um, if you have yoga blocks or couch cushion or like any large thick books or anything you have for um, blocks, even if you have yoga blocks, yoga blocks are a great tool to use for your yoga class. I've been doing yoga for 20 years. I still use yoga blocks. So it doesn't mean anything if you need a yoga block. All right, so if you guys are ready, go ahead and get on your yoga mat. Como has been ready for days for this class. So let's begin in child's pose. Big toes touch, knees wide, reach your hands to the front edge of your yoga mat. Third eye center, forehead connects to your mat. Pause. Close your eyes. Are your awareness within? I'm doing this buying NASA yoga class. Find to let your mind wander, especially if it has anything to do with popping a bottle of bubbles after class. Loud breath in. Loud breath out. One more slow inhale. Loud slow exhale. Next breath in, rise up to downward facing dog. Fingers spread wide. Heels drive to the back edge of your yoga mats. Now spread your fingers really wide as so you plant your palms flat on your yoga mat. Elbows are straight and let your head drop a lot. Big slow breath in. Loud slow breath out. Inhale your biggest. Exhale your easiest. One more noisy inhale. Cleansing exhale. Tiny baby steps. Walk your feet to your hands. And pause and right dog. Feet hips width or slightly wider. Soften your knees. Hinge from your hips. Grab your elbows with your hands. Shift your body weight slightly forward, more weight in the front of your foot than your heel. Allow every muscle in your body to soften. Hang limp and loose like a rag doll. Loud inhale. Loud, slow exhale. Breathe in your biggest. Breathe out your easiest. Fill your lungs. Empty your lungs. Drop your hands, interlace your fingers at your lower back. Open up your shoulders and heart center. Single inhale. Noisy exhale. Fill up.
Walk your feet together, big toes touch. Keep one inch of space between your heels. Ground through your feet and roll up one vertebrae at a time, super slow. Roll your shoulders back and down and reach all 10 fingers to the ceiling. Lift your heart as you inhale. Back bend really easy as you exhale. One more breath in. And breathe out, hands to heart center and pause. Eyes wide open. Lock your gaze to the space between your ring fingers. One shared own. Breathe in.
look forward and on empty lungs travel forward. Halfway lift, flat back, forward fold, empty. Chair pose, bend your knees a lot, squeeze your knees together and reach all 10 fingers up to the ceiling. Shoulders relax down away from your ears and slightly engage your hollow belly to scoop your tail under. Inhale. Slow exhale. Breathe in your biggest. Breathe out your loudest. Inhale through your nose. And as you exhale, dive forward fold. Flow through your vinyasa. Inhale, half your lift. Find your hands, step back, high plank, low plank. Upward facing dog, big breath in. Downward facing dog, loud breath out. Step your right foot between your hands, warrior one. Right toes point to 12 o'clock. Your left heel spirals in and down. And now bend deep into your right knee. All 10 fingers reach for the ceiling and hollow out your belly to scoop your tail. Big breath in. Go a little deeper, breathe out. Fill your lungs. Empty your lungs. Gaze up to the space between your hands, lengthen your upper back. Take a mini back bends. One more inhale. And as you exhale, hands to your mat, vinyasa, vinyasa, flow. One breath, one move, you go. Left foot steps, warrior one, here of Madrasana. Ground with equal pressure through both feet. Drive your right hip forward and reach all 10 fingers to the ceiling. Lock your gaze on a single immovable point. Breathe in loud. Breathe out loud. Fill your lungs. Empty your lungs. One more breath in. Go deeper, breathe out. Inhale, look up. Exhale, mini back bends. One more breath in. Breathe out, hands to your mat. Vanyasa, flow. One breath, one move, you go. Pause in stillness. Downward facing dog, as if nothing ever happened. Big breath in. Let a slow breath out. Drop your head lower than your arms. Inhale, big. Exhale, big. And notice the position of your feet. What you don't want to have is your heels lifted high off your mat. Keep your hips really high and drive your heels down to your yoga mat. Stretch your Achilles tendon and your calves and your hamstrings all at the same time. One more breath in. Biggest breath out. Shift forward, high plank. If you're in a perfect down dog, you should drop, be able to drop your hips right down into plank. Roll to your right side plank. Foot and hand are in alignment. Reach your left arm up to the ceiling. Now, option to make it easier, our comb will demonstrate. I'm going to scoot to the side a little more so you guys can see her better. You can take your left foot down on your mat and give yourself a little extra support. If you have a sore wrist, you can always drop down to your form. This is a great option too. Be here, five, one, two, three, four, and five. Good work. Both hands down to your mat, high plank, inhale. Chaturanga Asana, exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One loud inhale. One loud exhale. Breathe in, high plank. Pause. Roll to your left side plank. Now take whatever variation is right for you on this side. It does not have to be the same variation as the other side. If you need to drop your top foot down, go for it. Another scale is dropping your bottom knee. Or an option also is to lift your top, top leg up high to the sky. Can you do that one, Paul? Yes, there you go. Five, one. Keep your balance. Two, three, four, and 
thigh, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Reconnect with your breath. Downward facing dog. How are you doing, Jamal Yogi? <laughs> Great. Inhale, big. Exhale, big. Breathe in. Breathe out. Complete inhale. Complete exhale. Look to your thumbs. Step or float there. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Rise, mountain, reach for the ceiling, bend way back. Exhale, dive, forward fold. Halfway lift, look forward. Now do your best in your focal point forward. On your hands, keep your focal point forward, Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, gaze straight ahead. Downward facing dog, eye gaze drops left. Inhale, loud. Exhale, loud. One more breath in. Complete breath out. Right foot steps between your hands. Crescent warrior. Reach all ten fingers high to the sky. Your back heel is lifted on your yoga mat. Bend deep into your right knee so your thigh bone is parallel to the ground. Hollow out your belly, scoop your tail, gaze up to the space between your hands and take an easy back bend. Inhale your biggest. And as you exhale, hands to prayer, twist. Left tricep goes to the outside of your right thigh. Press your arm into your leg. Lift your belly off your thigh and twist. Now a few variation options. You can drop your left knee down on your mat if you need to catch your balance. Or split your arms and gaze up at your top thumb. Be here three. One, two, and three. Hands back to prayer. Lift your knee. Inhale, rise up, warrior two. Spiral on your back heel. Hands wide. Shoulders relaxed and away from your ears. And the work of warrior two is one of the most spacious poses in the work is stacking your feet with right your hands. Vitality through your fingers. Lock your gaze to your right middle fingernail and relax your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale loud. Exhale loud. Fill your lungs. Empty your lungs. Exhale, flip your right palm, revolve your warrior. Left hand connects to your left leg. On your next exhale, extend it, side angle pose. Bring your right hand down. Options for extended side angle. So bend your knee, extended side angle. There you go. So option, Como is pretty flexible, so she's able to get her hand to the ground easily. If the ground is too far away, you have two options. You can bring your forearm to your quad. Can you demonstrate that? Right forearm to right quad, yep, like that. And your left hand stays extended forward. If that's a little too easy, you can take a yoga block or your couch cushion, place your hand there. Or if you have the bind, can you do the bind? If you have the bind, options to bind. Practice at your level. All yoga classes are all levels. So tuning in to what's accomplishable for you today. In your yes. So good, right? One more inhale. And now exhale, vinyasa, the flow. When it seems like your practice is too much, connect to your breath. Upward facing dog, big breath in. Downward facing dog, loud breath out. Three loud breaths. If you need to rest in a child's pose, it's always available for you. One more inhale. Loud, slow exhale. Your left foot between your hands, crescent warrior. Ground through your legs, reach all ten fingers up to the ceiling. Relax the topmost part of your shoulders and lift your right heel high off your mat. Now, for some of you, when that adjustment occurs, you might notice you'll lift up on your front knee a little. That means you need to take a little bit longer stance there. Now, bend into your left knee a little more. Hollow out your belly, look up and back. One breath in, 
and breathe out into the heart prayer twist. Right, tricep to left thigh, press your arm into your leg. Create space and lift between your belly and your thigh. Now option to keep your back knee lifted or drop it down on your mat for a little out of support. Also an option to split your arms. Be here, three, one.
crow today, or am I going to scare the crow today? Maybe you. <laughs> okay, great. So options stay here, and deep wear a squat, or point your hands and go with the crow. Knees connect to the highest part of your triceps. Press the earth away around your back. Float your feet up to your hips as you gaze forward. Three, one, two, and three. Step or float high plank, low plank. Upward facing dog. Rest and downward facing dog. Let all of your work settle in and land bone deep. Inhale big. Exhale big. Breathe in your biggest. Breathe out your easiest. There's a point of a vinyasa, vinyasa yoga class. Is it even present with something brand new? Is it present to a brand new possibility that exists within your body, that exists within your life? And oftentimes that means encountering challenging new sequences and pros that look forward. Step or flow forward. Chair pose. In order to get somewhere new within, you have to try something new. One more inhale. And as you exhale, hands the heart twist to the left, and it's the other side of your spine. Split your arms, gaze up at your left thumb. Inhale, lengthen your whole back. Exhale, soften and twist a little deeper. The purpose of spinal twist is to rinse out all toxins from your body, the literal and the figurative toxins. The ones in the bloodstream, the ones in the quad stream, one more inhale. And exhale, dive forward, fold, gorilla pose. Separate your feet hips width, and slide your hands all the way under your feet. Toes connect to your wrist crease, and drop your head. Close your eyes, and relax your jaw. Give yourself permission to just be. Fill your lungs. Empty your lungs. Release your hands from under your feet. Deep prayer squat or crow. Your choice, no hesitation, you go. It doesn't matter what pose you choose, and choose it with alacrity, and willingness, and velocity. Be here five, one, two, three, four, and five. Vinyasa, flow, one breath, one move, you go. If you take anything away from class today, is the power of aligning your breath and your movement in synchronicity. Inhale together. Exhale together. One more breath in. Cleansing breath out. Hold your breath out. Look forward. Bend your knees. Lift your heels. Step or float your feet to your hands. Flat upper back. Look forward. Fold, straighten your knees a little more. Root to rise, mountain, reach for the ceiling. Easy back bend. Stand tall, right side eagle. Right leg over, right arm under. You got a tiny bend to your left knee. Now your right foot hugs in close to your left lower leg. If you can crawl your toes around your calf, go for it. Elbows lift high, and on purpose, cover your focal point with your forearm. Now some of you might not have the arm mobility to get your palms to touch. Backs of your hands can go together, or you can give yourself a nice big hug around your shoulders. Be here, three, one, two, Three, unwind, switch sides. Go right to left side, eagle pose, Garudasana. Elbows lift high, drop your shoulders away from your ears. Square your hips and shoulders to the front edge of your yoga mat. 
your three, one, two, three, unwind, both feet down, get tall, mountain, mini back bend, press your hips forward, stand tall, right side dancer, right hand to right foot, the palm of your hand goes to the big toe side of your foot. Now the work is pressing your chest forward as you press the crown of your head to the ceiling and kick your foot back and up at the same time. Now be mindful of rotating to the right a little too much with your torso. Drive your collarbones forward to square forward. Soft standing knee, if you lock your knee out, you're gonna wobble and fall. So soft knee to get access to the sole of your foot. For three, one. Two, three, tree pose. Keep your right leg floating. Don't let your right foot touch the ground. Right foot to left inner thigh. Press your leg into your foot. Press your foot back into your leg. And hands to prayer, heart center. Teach those cool dance moves. <laughs> Option to extend your arms up. V for victory. Inhale. Loud exhale. For a harder challenge, gaze up. <laughs> and take an easy back bend. Three, one, two, and three. Good work. Right foot down, left side of dancer. Soft bend in your right knee. Left hand to left foot. Kick and press. Kick and press. Root down to rise up. Be here. Three, one, two, three. Tree pose, Vrkshasana. Your roots grow as deep as your branches grow high. So the work of balance is to focus on planting your foot down into the ground. And from your planted root, you grow straight up. Be here, five, one. Take all variations that come up for you. Two, three, four, and five. Hands to heart, left foot down to meet your right. Breathe in, extended mountain, get really tall, easy back bend. Exhale, dive, forward fold. Flat upper back, look to the horizon. Point your hands, step or float. High plank to low plank. Upward facing dog. Pause in stillness, downward facing dog. Come out of your head and land in your body. Acknowledge yourself for showing up this morning. Acknowledge yourself for pushing your edge. A more steady inhale. Steady exhale. Step your right foot between your hands. Triangle pose. So triangle is actually a little longer, so if you walk your left foot back a little more. By the way, the practice that we're um, doing together this morning is back to ease power vinyasa yoga. So you'll notice that maybe there's some techniques a little different than in the stronger series. And that's just the foundation that we're working in. Back to ease power vinyasa yoga is very expansive and spacious style of yoga. So triangle in the series is a bit longer. Heel of your right foot is in line with the arch of your left. Right toes point to 12 o'clock. And now in Baptiste Power Vinyasa Yoga, your right hand actually goes on your pinky to the side of your right foot. And if you have access, you can walk your right hand off the edge of your yoga mat and add in a little back bend. You're supported by your yoga teacher, so you can go as deep as you want. Pull. Gaze up at your left thumb. Go back a little bit more, even if it's just a little arch, to lift your heart closer to the ceiling. One breath in, and as you breathe out, pyramid pose, left hand 
come down to your mat. Now you shorten your stance a little bit. So left foot walks forward and to the left a couple inches. And now you're gonna point your left toes to about 10 o'clock. And your foot about right there. Yeah, that's it. Draw your right hip back, left hip forward. Inhale, look up halfway, arch your back. And as you exhale, maintain a flat back as you fold. Bring your belly to connect with your thigh. Drop your head. The work is trying to bring your nose to your shin. Inhale big. Exhale big. Breathe in your biggest. Breathe out your loudest. You should feel this in your right hamstring. One more inhale. Fold a little deeper, exhale. Look up halfway, keep your knees straight, you okay? <laughs> Cramp a little yeah. bit. Look up halfway, it'll happen in the yoga class. Twist and triangle. Left hand goes outside your right foot. If you can't quite reach the ground, grab a yoga block. Now your yoga block, if you have one at home, it's a great investment, by the way. It can be at any level, there's three levels, small, medium, and high level for your yoga block. Komal has her set to the high level for this pose. Inhale, lengthen your back. Exhale, soften and twist a little deeper. One more breath in. And as you breathe out, bring both hands down to your mat. Step back, high plank. Lower, chaturanga. Upward facing. And downward facing dog. Reconnect with your breath, come back to your center. Inhale. Loud exhale. Breathe in. Out. Fill up. Empty. Left side triangle pose. Keep your right foot where it is and send your left foot all the way up between your hands. Both knees are straight and triangle pose. And bring your left hand to the pinky toe on the side of your left foot. Again, be the block under your fingertips, go for it. And what makes Baptiste yoga distinct is that you use your legs to ground in this pose. So your fingertips are actually brushing the surface of your mat or your block very light. Gaze up at your top thumb. If you have access to your back bend, you go for it. So back bending in this pose, you'll tuck your left hip under right before you know. Now since she has her hand on a block on this side, as she does the back bends, if her hand moves, she'll pick up the block and take it away. But she's not going that way. She's like, oh, you didn't go. Yes. Right down now. Loud inhale. Loud exhale. One more breath in. And as you breathe out, pyramid, right hand down. Shorten your stance and widen your stance a little bit, a few inches in each direction. Now, if you don't have access to the floor easily with your fingertips, you can take both blocks. This is why it's important to have two yoga blocks for yourself with every practice to give you access to the floor. So, feet hips width to drive your hips to square forward. This is going to get in the middle of your hamstring a lot deeper. Halfway lift, flatten out your spine. And then you hinge from your hip, exhale, fold. As you fold, you don't need the blocks anymore. You can toss your blocks to, to the side. Inhale your biggest. Exhale your loudest. Fill your lungs. Empty your lungs. One more big inhale. Fold deeper. Exhale. Halfway lift. Look to the horizon and as you exhale, twist in a triangle. Right hand goes outside your left foot. Or that's a, that was actually a great variation you were headed into. But yeah. Wherever your hand feels right. So if you notice, Pono initially went for her walk on the instep of her foot. It's still a great variation for twisted triangle. She ended up with her hand outside her foot on a yoga block. If you don't have blocks, you can also put your hand on your shin. You'll also wiggle and wobble and fall a lot in this pose. <laughs> this is a very hard pose to keep your balance in. Inhale loud. Exhale loud. Breathe in your fingers. Breathe out your easiest. So recover your balance. Following is part of the work. One more inhale. There you go. And exhale, both hands down to your yoga mat. Step back, high plank. 
low plank, upward facing dog, to downward facing dog, three lateral breaths. The hardest part of your class is pretty much over, for the most part. Inhale loud, exhale loud. One more breath in. Complete breath out. Inhale, shift forward to high plank. Slowest transition ever. Lower all the way down to your belly. Three, one, two, and three. Drop down, locust pose. Bring your hands to your lower back. Interlace your fingers. Point your toes and now lift your belly and chest off your mat. Lift your legs off your mat. Gaze straight ahead. As you inhale, lengthen your whole spine. And as you exhale, relax. Try easier to lift higher. Two more breaths. And exhale, drop down. Hands drop to your sides. Turn your head to one side. Close your eyes. Muscles soften away from your bones. Inhale your biggest. Exhale your last. Doing one more locust pose. This time with your opposite hand on top. So you raise your fingers again. Now awkward grip with your hands. Float up. Wrap your shoulder blades around your upper back. And now your hollow belly is still on, engage. So even though it's a back bend, you're still pulling your tailbone under using your core muscles. Heart shines forward, toes spread wide. Take one more breath in. And breathe out, drop down, turn your head to the other side, and close your eyes. Presence yourself to the texture of your yoga mat. Lower down, nice and easy. Hands go at your sides. 
and pause and do a back flat on your mat and your feet stay on your mat. One inhale. Loud exhale. And your hands over your shoulders. Full wheel. So we're going to show steps of wheel. Um, if you need to watch the video, I encourage you to do that. So you're going to ground through your hands and feet and go to the crown of your head first. If you're already proficient in wheel, you can go up in the wheel now. So lift up, crown of your head, go to your mat. So this is step one in wheel. Pretty much everyone can do this unless you have a shoulder pain and you need to go back to bridge. From here, push your hands and feet down into your mat. You're going to use your legs to press your heart forward. Where's your shoulder? There it is. So press your heart forward. Elbows go straight and use your bones for lift. One more breath in. Good work. And breathe out. Drop down. Sutta Baddha Kamasana. Legs in butterfly position. We one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Close your eyes. And pause. Loud, slow down. Loud, slow, exhale. Breathe in your fingers. Breathe out your mouth. We'll do a few rounds of box breathing. So listen very carefully. Inhale. Slow, exhale. Breathe in slow for four, three, two, one, fill up completely and hold your breath. Four, three, two, one, breathe out. Four, three, two, one, empty completely and hold your breath out. Four, three, two, one, inhale. Four, three, two, one, hold. Breathe out, four, three, two, one, hold. Breathe in, four, three, Two, one, hold. Breathe out, four, three, two, one, hold. slow inhale, loud slow exhale, breathe in your breath, breathe out your easy, fill up all the way, empty out all the way, happy baby pose, bring your knees to the outside of your rib cage and grab the pinky toe edge sides of your feet, arms stay on the inside of your legs, and now you want your knees to be at 90 degrees, tailbone all the way down on your mats. Shoulder blades pull back and down so your whole spine is flat. Option to stay here or rock side to side like a real happy baby. You kick your feet to the side like a real happy baby. You see your feet in your mouth like a real happy baby. <laughs> No, to the senior feet in your mouth. Oh, no. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Amazing. And now pause the center and now straighten your legs for straddle split. Toes flex to your shins. Your knees are totally straight. Now Como is pretty flexible, so she's able to bring her straight legs pretty close to her face. For some of you, it might not look like this. You might not be out as wide, or your legs can be way more forward, or you can be way more flexible. Go to your variation and go to your death. Three more breaths. One more inhale. And exhale on your knees into your chest. 
Drop your arms to T position. Drop your knees to the right, turn your head to the left, and close your eyes. The closer you bring your knees to your elbow, the deeper the stretch in your lower back. And if you have any other variation, it goes a little bit deeper or easier for you. Take that on. Three more.
closed eyes, slow motion, rise up to a seat. Crisscross applesauce, fold for half lifts. Bring your hands to prayer position. One chair, palm. Breathe in. like year or two so um give me a follow and hope to see you guys again soon on another yoga class thank you bye and and now